This video is brought to you by the Glasgow University Charity Fashion Show. This year we're raising money for Refugee, a brilliant charity based here in Glasgow, who aim to welcome and integrate new refugees into the city. If you want to find out more or donate, be sure to click the link in the description and it will give you all the information you need. What's up on saying? It's your boy Summon this feels back again. I'm here today at Glasgow Central Station and I'm heading to Edinburgh a different way. I might be going on what is Scotland's rarest train and you're going to be joining me. So let's go. Let's get on this train. And that's the train I'm about to get. A 2105 to Edinburgh calling it Motherwell and Edinburgh Waverley with cross country, four cars, platform two. Let's go. That's me. But hey, I'm not sitting at the window. I mean, I am sitting at the window. Do you think this is aisle? Mm -hmm. You're funny. Whew. Let's sit down. There's so many trains that go between Glasgow and Edinburgh, but this one is different. Of course, to get between here and Edinburgh, you can go through Falkirk High, Falkirk Grahamston, through Bathgate, through Shot, and also through Motherwell. This one's going through Motherwell, but it's about when it gets into Edinburgh, which is the thing that's actually different. Normal cross country services between Glasgow and Edinburgh normally do Motherwell. Haymarket and Edinburgh Waverley but this one's not actually doing Haymarket because this train actually goes through another loop of line which goes around Edinburgh and then back around the other side um, I thought I might as well just come and do it you know why not I'm out already I might as well just get a ticket the thing is yeah for the ticket I had to get the nine pound ticket so you can get a super off peak for six pounds but that's like through uh, Falkirk High, all the other places, all the normal trains. I paid three pounds extra just to do this. Why? You'll notice this train here because I'm checking on uh, real time trains, and you see when you pass, when the train passes Slateford. You go to Craig Lockhart Junction, down to Nidri West Junction, Nidri North Junction, and Portobello Junction, which is literally on the east side of Edinburgh, which normally wouldn't happen, up to Craig and Tinney, Abbey Hill, and onto Edinburgh. I can't lie, it is getting dark. It's quarter past nine, mid August. Everything else is a bonus, but I can say that I've actually ticked off this part of track. So we're coming into the first stop, Motherwell, well the first and only stop in between. 
Let's see how many people actually get on. I doubt it's gonna be busy. So just coming into Slateford now. Look at that big scenes, please. Look at that, that was a massive one. We're just gonna, I think we're gonna break off at the next junction after this. So, uh, be keen. Oh, we've just come on to a distant piece of track, you can see it. Oh, Slateford station's right there. But we're in the middle, middle section of track. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Going away from the main line. And off we uh, off we go. Oh you can't really see but I am sure that there is no pantograph pole above us. So this is just the diesel in the line. <laughs> And remember, deep the fact, deep the fact that we are literally just outside and this is gonna take half an hour. 20 minutes, 27 minutes to complete to go around. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, and we have just gone onto another piece of track. Yes, okay. So from what I could see behind there, that it was literally just a single piece of track, unelectrified. The thing is now I can't really see much you know. You can't really see much out there as well. You see more of me than you can see outside. So.
we're about four or five minutes early. We are now on the home straight where normal squat rail trains from down the borders, so Tweed Bank, Gala Shields come up. And then the next junction will be with you know the East Coast trains and stuff, so just the regular stuff. Okay, so we're just about to head into Edinburgh Waverley Station right now. To kind of sum up, of course it's been basically getting dark and there's not really been much to see out from the window, especially from your perspective. I've been able to see a bit, a bit, but you know, it's um, it's nice to do some rare track, I can't lie. A few stations, you've got your Edinburgh Waverley, your Haymarket, your, your Slateford, all those ones, Edinburgh Parkway, Edinburgh Gateway. But there are these railways that go all across the city that have been disused. And we're literally, we just passed on one, stations have been closed. This it only gets one service a day, which doesn't stop anywhere. I would have seen, we're literally just passing through, you know, residential areas. There's places where they're like major through fares. And there is no railway service stopping at some of these, some of these places. I don't understand, you know. Okay, yeah, the tram, tram extension's being built, but when their proposals to use this line that we've just passed on and actually have stop st stops on the line. Ooh, it's a HST. This service will shortly arrive into Edinburgh Waverley where it will terminate. When you leave us, please remember all your belongings. Do watch the gap between the train and the platform edge. Next and final calling point, Edinburgh Waverley. Like, I don't know why, why not? Why not? Okay, money. Uh, how long it takes to plan, whatever, you know. You know, everything, I don't know, I don't know the bureaucracy with a lot of these plans, I can't lie, but surely if you ask people who lived around this line, a certain amount of people would be like, yeah, yeah, why not? Let's, 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 let's build some stations here. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll put a train that goes around in a circle. But what can you do? What can you do? See, you know, it's nice to say that I've actually done one C99 between Glasgow Central and Edinburgh Waverley. One hour, 20 minutes of my life. I can say that I've done Slateford off the junction to Craig Lockhart Junction, down to Craig and Tinney Junction, and here on our main way into Edinburgh Waverley. Shout out Jeff Marshall for doing that video on the South Western Railway line that uses uh, the district line. Watch that use the branch line, see what was in Scotland and there's also a Twitter page, Twitter page link them down Twitter page here check it out, they're trying to reopen and trying to you know, get proposals done to actually use this line here and actually add stops in yeah that was not a busy train at all six of us I think one, two, three, four, five, six people getting off here at Edinburgh Waverley I am going to get a train back to Glasgow Central. It's gonna be one through Falkirk High because I am absolutely tired. I need some city. It's been your boy Summon Explorers. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you in a bit.